Super quick one today, guys. Some tips on using alcohol and electronics and cleaning and pumps and supplies. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Glad you guys could join me today. Just a couple of quick tips. For those that might be a little more new to electronics, one of the most essential supplies to have on the bench is rubbing alcohol. I have been using 70% isopropyl uh, for many, many, many years, but you can use other different strengths. You buy this stuff just at your local pharmacy is the easiest place to grab it. I got this uh, just the other day. I've never tried 99% alcohol for cleaning. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, this 50%, this is from, I think this is from Dollar Store. Uh, it does work, but I find 70 is a great spot to use. But here's the tip. The handiest thing to have is to have your cleaner in a pump. I got this one on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. But when you um, when you go to use a, a Q-tip or something to clean with, uh, rather than having to uh, uncap the bottle and dip it in, you can just pump the pump here and you'll notice there's a little bit displaced into the top and now we have our q-tip ready to go and we can use this on any uh, corroded terminals or if we have to remove some flux in the event that you're working with flux on components you sometimes after you're done your soldering you want to clean it off and if you don't have a um, an ultrasonic cleaner or something of that form a good old q-tip and some alcohol works wonders in this case we got quite a bit on there but no problem it'll dissolve it real nicely and you can just clean up your board and that's all there is to it stuff super handy I never had one of these pumps for an awful lot of years and I'm <laughs> I'm wishing I did I sure love it now you can get pumps like this I got these from eBay these are a much much cheaper one these are marketed towards uh, uh, nail polish like nail salons and stuff same reason they want to have uh, their nail polish remover very easy to work with and they can use cotton balls or whatever and just dip them in the top here one last tip if you're like me you like having your q-tips easy to get at I just have them on my pegboard behind the bench take your uh, take the bag that they're hanging in and just cut a window out of the front of it and then you can just grab a q-tip anytime you need one it makes it super easy Grab yourself one of these pumps. It sure makes things easier when you're cleaning up, working on electronics. If you didn't know, I do have a Patreon, which is linked at the end of this video and below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider supporting. Uh, you can support with anything as little as a dollar. It truly helps me get supplies and make, these, make this content for you guys. Have a fantastic week, guys. I will see you next video. Build something cool this week. Cheers.